Hello guys, it's Tekken here, and I'm about to show off a new API I've written, and uh, this one is to do properties. I'm slowly collecting a couple of APIs now, but um, I was originally I used to use the MLG prop properties, but I just they never worked, they didn't load properly. There's all sorts of issues I used to have with them, so I thought screw it, and I wrote my own. And this is I'm going to show you how to use them, and some of the things which you may need to do due to the way you need to load stuff. Okay, so once you've downloaded it and uh, decompiled your jar with it in, all you need to call is basically just write Tekken's properties like that, and then dot. First, you need to initialize your property. So, first send the path. Now, I'm going to put mine in the slash mods folder. Make sure these are all strings, by the way. There. Uh, then I'm going to um, choose a file name. So mine is going to be called. And I'm going to call my own um, test 34. And I do a. Uh, you can have any. This is the file type. You can have what you want. The two commonly used ones are CFG, which are config files, text files, and occasionally they have properties files, which is basically a text file. But I'm going to use text file. And then you have to assign a title to it. This is generally the name of your mod. So I'm going to call this uh, mod test 34. Okay, so then you're going to add your variables. Now, the way you do this is you have to have variables pre initiated. So I'm going to quickly make a couple of variables. I'm going to have an int called um, id I'm gonna have a string called string called name and a float called I don't know, um, rotation. So once you've got those, then all you need to do is simply put it equal to Tekken's properties. If I can spell it right. And then, I've spelled it wrong somewhere. Tekken's proper, there's no R there. Dot, and then you've got to choose your property type. So this one's an int, so I look for the method called property int, which is default by selected. So I do property int, and then I give it a name, which is my name's going to be, uh, I don't know, id. And then you give it a value. And the, val the default value is, you have to enter it as a string for the moment. Later on I will change it, but currently you have to enter it as a string. So I'm now going to call the strings and be by default 34, which are the ideas. Okay, so the same process again. I'm just going to copy and paste this time. So equals, and then you've got for property string, which is selected. There, so then you enter the name, so name. I'm going to default value of test 34 and finally rotation which is a float. This mod can handle a whole lot more methods, I just choose to show you those three because I can't bother to do the rest. Uh, dot and then yeah, it suggests basically the one you should use. But as it goes, the my monitor supports floats, bytes, ints, longs, boolean, double, and string so far. I may be adding more in the future. So, string, uh, float. I mean, I'm gonna call it rot. Uh, then the value, default value, can be I don't know, five point four two six, five point four five six. 
Okay, then finally to finish it off, all you do is you type Tekken's properties dot finalize properties. And that's it. It will then load everything perfectly. And I'll show you that what it does in the console actually, because it prints out what it basically loads into the console. It prints out errors, it will tell you if it's not found the file, then create it automatically. So that's the block of text you really need with as many variables in the middle. Now, a couple of things you may come across. Um, most people, when they write a block, uh, by default you write public static block equals blah 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 blah. Now, due to the fact that we don't want to load the block before it's loaded the property, what we do is we took public static block and then just its name. Then you load the properties in the load function. Then later on, if you look, I have got here initialize my blocks. So then I've set the what equals. This way you don't have then the errors because what happens, you won't an error won't pop up on screen. It will just take us so much memory up when you're starting your game. It crash. You have to close it and start again. Okay, so uh, I'm going to run this. Okay, if I then just extend this console up a bit. Okay, so look, uh, here's it was. Um, here's where my part is. So here's the first part. This is my. This is the one I usually use. This is the part we're looking at. So look, it says, uh, "Welcome to Tekken's API uh, Properties API." It then generates the file path. It doesn't. You don't need to pass it any of the mod it doesn't use mod loader at all it doesn't use minecraft this is SMP you can use this for SMP works fine it then initializes the properties for that uh, loads the ID so uh, it can't find it it's trying to load it it can't find it so it creates it and then it loads it and then it's trying the second one can't find it creates it load it and find then it fi tries to finalize it and it's finalized that works fine so say if I run it again This time we see, if I just grab the edge of, the, oh fucks, if I can actually manage to uh, move this around. This time we see, look, it's already found it. Look, it didn't need to create them, it just loads them. Loads them in happily. Uh, and I'll show you where it is. Uh, well, actually, I don't need to because you know where it is. It's been created inside the config file. Actually, no, sorry, my bad. That's the old one. It's been created inside the mobs file. So let's go and check that out, shall we? Um, jar. There it is. And it's all you do. You just change. So if you want to change that, you can change that. Easy. So if I want the ID to be, I don't know. 54 instead. So, I'm going to save that. I'm now going to create a little printout so it prints the ID out because you know, no harm in that, really. So, we change the IDs. Uh, like that. So, I run that again. And then see, look, here's load it all, and there, it printed 54 out. This works perfectly. Uh, you shouldn't really need anything else. The properties, it's SMP. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Um, hang around for more. There won't be more. Anyway, I'll probably be make, releasing more APIs. If you haven't seen, I've already got a version checker API out. Link for that will be on the forum, and the link for the forum will be in the description of this video. Or if you're on the forum and you're watching this video anyway, you don't need the link to the description to the forum because you're on it. Anyway, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, this is Tekken Sony.